Hello, and welcome to the Magic Attic. I'd like to share some restoration techniques and cleaning techniques for props, ways that you can restore them, clean them, without doing damage. For that purpose, let's go to our Magic Kitchen. In cleaning a prop that's stained or just needs cleaning, there are a few things to remember. You don't want to use abrasive products or cleaning cloths. So have ready with you some paper towels, uh, some cut up rags, and uh, the product that I can highly recommend, everything that is here has been cleaned and uh, stains removed with something called Goop. It's a hand cleaner. Uh, Goop has nothing abrasive. It is non-toxic. You can use it without gloves. I can clean my hands with it, and if I have stains, anything from tar on, It'll clean cloth, canvas, it'll clean vinyl, it'll clean wood. Uh, and then once you're done with it, you wipe it off. Wood products we don't want to have sitting in, in water. So when we say damp, wring things out if you're going to use a damp product. But goop goes on dry. As an example, here's a panel that has not been cleaned uh, from a Jack Hughes um, production box from the late 1930s. Uh, the surfaces, I don't know if you can see them, but I can see there's dirt on them. Goop is used this way. Use it with your fingers to apply. You don't want to rub hard. You might want to blow the thing off. But I'm going to take it, and there is a decal here, and I'm just going to rub it onto the wood so it's all over the wood. And they say to let it sit for 20 minutes or more if there's a stain. I've used it for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, no problem. And I can let it sit now. I also have a Jack Hughes radio that I've done the top of and the back of, and you'll see later pictures that showed stains that were on here. I think they were paint stains, and they came off. There was a very bad stain on this product that I put goop on and I let it sit, and I, when I wiped it off, uh, it didn't fully come off. I did it a second time. And you might want to try a soft toothbrush if you need to work at a stain that's on. Uh, it won't do damage if you do it lightly, and just the friction may take off the stain. So how would I apply this to this wood product? Uh, I would simply take my hands, put it on, and go side by side, uh, straight up and down along the grain, the lines of the wood. It doesn't really matter because it's going to come off. And I'm going to let it sit for a period of time. Okay? And you can see it's fine. It has a slight citrus smell. Some of them have an orange smell. I have here uh, paper towels, and in the same way you clean a car with a cloth, I like to fold them so that I can then refold them, because you're going to see in a moment when I take off this goop, as I clean it, going back and forth, sure enough, uh, I don't know if you can see in this light, uh, there is quite a bit of dirt coming off. I could, if I prefer, use a, a cloth, um, again, rotating it, and just keep rotating it so you don't move the dirt into the wood. I don't know if you can see how nicely that is done, but you get a little shine. A secondary cleaner is uh, Murphy Oil Soap, which must be diluted. Uh, otherwise, you can do some real damage to a finish, and it must be taken off fairly quickly. However, uh, that would be my second choice for a wood cleaner. A lot of people rely on that, but Goop has really no damage it's going to do.